When it comes to Google Ads, it's super important to maintain consistency with your Google Ad sales every single day. And it's really painful to me just to see how many brands actually struggle with this. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I maintain my own Google Ad sales when it comes to e-commerce and actually end up scaling my own sales while maintaining that consistency. Now, this is not just something I've done across one brand, but rather we've been able to do it across multiple brands this year. All thanks to my Google Ads agency, your marketing. And if we look right here, change the time period to the last 90 days, we can see that on average, every single one of these brands has been very consistent because this chart right here showcases all of the different brands we're working with. And we can see the overall ad spend has been very consistent. The ROAS also has been very consistent in the last 90 days. And most important of all, the conversion value, it has actually increased from going from about 39 to $40,000 a day to now, going to roughly double that of 80 to $90,000 on any given day. How is this even possible? The biggest reason why so many e-commerce brands struggle is because they make way too many changes and that too, hoping something becomes better, hoping something works. And as a result, they end up actually destroying their own results. When you go into your ad account with Google Ads, when you make too many changes, you actually put that algorithm into its learning phase over and over and over again and it's a longer learning phase it's a longer learning period because it's a search based platform it's not like Facebook so you need to first of all take a step back and instead of changing things clicking buttons every day maybe do it once a week or maybe once every two weeks but that's not the only thing the second reason main reason that too why so many brands struggle with consistency is because they don't understand that these ad account changes that they're doing they are only ad as effective as the product feed. If you have a very bad product feed, well, then you're not going to be getting any types of consistency anytime soon because consistency can only build on top of previous results. If you have no results to begin with, or if you get one sale every blue moon, then it's going to be very hard for Google to extract data out of those sales and then put it to use and do match it to real customers out there so that it can get you consistent results. The third main reason to top it all off essentially is that most brands either have only one or a few shopping campaigns running. If you have a very few campaigns running and if almost 90 to 99% of your results are coming from those few campaigns, well, then there is no consistency to build off of because again, Google's algorithm needs consistent data from multiple campaign sources and multiple traffic types so that it can keep on feeding the algorithm data so that it can go out and find newer and newer people based on these consistent data points it's getting. Finally, to top it off, if you have a weak overall ad strategy, doesn't matter if you have multiple campaigns, but if it's just not really optimized for your brand, then obviously it's going to be very difficult to maintain consistency. One of these four things your brand probably is doing right at this moment if you're not really seeing consistent results. But the good news is all four of these are fixable, which brings us to the next point, which is how do we go about this now that we understand all of these things and how do we continue with consistency. First thing you want to understand is it doesn't matter if you scale up the budgets, if you spend a million dollars a day because your foundation is weak, because your ad account is not optimized for scale or let alone for consistency, it's going to be inconsistent results, even with a million dollars a day ad spend. So really working with all four of these things, making sure all four are getting fixed to improve consistency is the key here. This brings me to the first thing that you should start doing right now to maintain consistency and to actually even introduce consistency if you don't have any to begin with number one foundational work i always say this in my other videos as well i always say this with the e-commerce brands i handle under my google ads agency as well the pillars that support your consistency and your skill is the foundation meaning your product feed your product titles your product descriptions and so on and so forth. What you want to do here is you want to reverse engineer your way to consistency. And what I want to do is I want to search up one keyword levitating lamp to kind of talk more about this. So when you're reverse engineering, you're actually working your way backwards. You're first understanding what your competitors are doing. Then you're understanding what information needs to be relayed to Google's algorithm. So you can then go ahead and do that instead of just wasting money by blindly. That's the first step for consistency 
consistency, but that's not the only step because this brings us now to running multiple campaign types. Number two, you want to run at least three campaign types. Now, I prefer shopping campaigns, search campaigns, and YouTube. These three are like the three musketeers, which I always like to run, but it can be anything. It could be shopping, search, display, shopping, search, discovery, search, display, discovery, so on and so forth, whatever works the best for your brand because every single one of these campaign types provides information on an account level. You want consistent data coming in and it doesn't have to be always profitable. It could be a display campaign just going after cold traffic at $5 a day and it's not getting sales. That's completely fine as long as it's providing data on an account level because then it helps add a lot of consistency like it did for this brand. I mean, if we look right here, about 30 days ago, it was spending around a thousand, two thousand dollars, and even now it's spending a thousand, two thousand. The red line is the conversion value. Back then, it was getting around seven thousand in sales. Now it's getting eleven thousand, but it does go down to nine and ten thousand. So, despite staying the same with ad spend, we have been able to increase conversion value, and that's because in total, we're running a lot of campaigns here, not 32 campaigns. Because if I add in only the enabled ones, we can see that the total number of campaigns is actually around 11. That's the only number of campaigns we're running. But if you look right here, there's so many different types of campaigns. A lot of it is performance max, but we're also relying heavily on search. We're introducing YouTube, so on and so forth. But a minimum of three campaign apps is something you should be aiming towards. But that brings us to the third thing, which you absolutely must do, and that is to allocate the necessary bids and budgets. Because consistency with Google Ads ultimately also comes down to what your daily budget is and what your bidding is for your campaigns. Because let's say that your budget is $10 a day and your average order value is $50. Well, now, most likely your $10 a day budget is going to be spent by 12 p.m. or by 2 p.m. in the afternoon. And the rest of the day, there's crickets yelling in terms of your e-commerce sales. Your main goal should be to make it easy for the algorithm. Spread your budget throughout the day. We do this by really having a very competitive budget. You want to have it at least two times to five times your average order value. So if your average order value is $50, you want to run a budget at $100 a day to maybe even $250 a day. That's up to you. But not just that, you want to also place out products and segregate them out accordingly because what you will notice is if you put a lot of products inside of one campaign, almost 80% of those products will end up getting untested because of the way Google works. So this is not really ideal for consistency. When it comes to getting consistent results, you could have maybe 50 products getting one or two sales a day, whereas with the original strategy of just one performance max campaign or just maybe two, you'll have maybe five or maybe even less than five products getting you majority of your sales. And if maybe three out of those five products don't sell on any given day for whatever reason well now on that day your sales are going to drop significantly which is something you don't want that's why to maintain consistency we always like to segregate out our products hence why this brand right here had a total of 11 different campaigns running it's just so that we spend our money accordingly and to ensure that all the products get the attention that they deserve but that's essentially a simple way of maintaining consistency that we're finding a lot of success with for the e-commerce brands which we're handling which by the way if you're currently doing forty thousand dollars or more per month in revenue you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen but make sure to like this video if you found any type of value from it subscribe if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos and check out this video right here on my newest performance max campaign strategies which can actually help you take your brand to the next level